Hey everyone, Danielle here from PaintedPage.com. Thanks for joining me for this mermaid marker tutorial. We will be painting two very simple feathers together, so I hope you will have some time to join me. Let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing I like to do is start with the center of the feather. The right side of the feather is going to be a bit shorter than the left side. So you can make this line closer to the middle and this line on the left side, just make it a bit further away. We are going to thicken up the very bottom of the feather. I'm just gonna add an extra line down there. We need to make some breaks along the outer edges of the feathers. So just think of the letter V and go along the edges of your feather and make some openings. Now you can gently erase those lines that we had in there before. Now the first color we're going to use is called Conch and this is from the Sun Bleached set. This is the newer set and I love all of the colors in here because they're so light. We are just going to move this color around a bit. So just take a wet brush or if you have a water brush, you can use that as well. And I have a really small round brush and I'm just moving around some of that color that I just put down. This water will also help our next few layers to move around as well. The next color is called seashell and I put that right down on top of our previous color and I'm using my brush with clean water to move that color around as well. The next color we're going to use is called Starfish and this is from the original set and we're just going to put just a few dabs down and move that around with our paintbrush like we did before. We're not going to completely water down that pink color but we're going to allow it most of it to sit on the top. We just want to make sure that it blends in with the layers underneath. After that's dry, we're going to do some line work and we're going to use our magic wands. I'm using color pencils. This one is called Pixie. So you're just going to take your color pencil and lightly draw over your pencil lines. And I like to use really loose and free kind of like broken lines so that the feather still has that really great movement to it. I like to start on the page and kind of lift up my pencil as I draw the line so that keeps it kind of loose and free. I'm going to grab my white gel pen and make a few dots here and there on my feather. I'm going to attempt to blur these out a bit, but that is the goal here is to just add a little detail to the feather. Now I have a wet brush and as I was trying to kind of allow these dots to run, I had too much water in my brush. So whenever I do something that doesn't really turn out that great, I will just kind of stop dry that layer and go back and start over again. As you can see, since I had so much water in my brush, it dried in these rings because the water moves the watercolor. So what I did is I took the first two colors I started off with and I went back and added those on top after everything was dry. And as you can see, you don't see the rings anymore. 
and I was able to kind of blend back some of my white gel pen. I wanted to take a quick second and show you my practice feathers. I know these look absolutely crazy, but this is part of my process. It kind of looks crazy and ugly before it looks good. And so I just want to show you that I don't just do things like right away the first try. I have to practice. Let's get started on our second feather. I am going to make this one a bit shorter and I'm going to start with that middle line and then it's going to kind of bloom out at the top and then have these loose feathers here at the bottom. I have a photo of this feather over on my website. I found it on Pinterest and I kind of loosely used it as reference. So it's got some lines of different colors up towards the top. I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but I know I didn't want to use the exact colors from the photo itself. We can also add in some of our breaks along the edges. And so I'm just making that V shape to show where the, where the feather separates. The first color we're gonna use is Bali Blue. I love this color so much. It's so subtle and pastel-like. And I'm going to put that down and then move that color around with a wet brush. You can kind of see that my, my water is not that clean, but that's okay. I'm just going to move this color around. The next color we're going to put in with that is Lagoon. And I'm going to go ahead and allow those two colors to blend in together. And then we are going to take Blue Bottle, which is a really great dark blue, and we're going to put that towards the bottom of the feather. I just made a few marks, and I'm going to move that around a bit with a wet brush. Now, it's completely up to you as to how much or how less you want to dilute your paint and move it around. You can also dry these layers and add more layers on top. There is a very subtle brownish gray color in the newer palette. It's called Black Hole and that's what I use on the very top of the feather. Now I'm adding that blue bottle and the purple color called deep sea and I'm just blending those two together to go in that line that I, that we made at the very top of the feather and I'm just using whatever I have on my brush and I'm moving that down to the body of the feather itself Now we can add some more of the line work and this is kind of that fi finishing touch that we can add to kind of define the shapes that we want to enhance on our feather. The first color I'm using is called Emerald and then I'm also using a color called Mystic and I really liked combining both these colors together to kind of blend in with the feather. I tried to use a blue color, but it really wasn't showing up because the colors were too dark. So I just went back to the purple 
and try to add a bit more flare to the ends of the feathers. I wanted to add some white spots in the darker areas and so that's what I tried to do here and I made a few spots and then I took the color jellyfish and I just painted right over top of those marks that I just made to kind of blend those out a bit. I have added a mini bonus lesson over on my website so head over there to access that today. That about does it for this lesson. I really hope that this was a relaxing, stress-free tutorial for you to follow along with. If you have any questions, comments, or requests for new tutorials, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.